When it comes to experiencing peace, are you trying to be proactive or reactive? Hey friends, it's Pastor Mike from Fellowship Church. Always enjoy connecting with you midweek. I hope you had a wonderful Memorial Day weekend, and I hope you took some time to remember those who passed away and gave their lives in sacrifice for our nation. That question for you again, when it comes to experiencing peace, are you trying to do it in a proactive manner or a reactive manner? Hey, if you know the book of Psalms, the book of Psalms is literally a book of some songs and poetry and other writings. A lot of it just comes straight from the heart, the outpouring of a heart from someone, David, Moses, somebody else. There's 150 Psalms in the Psalter, in the book of Psalms. And one of the more common Psalms is called Psalm 46. It's 11 verses long, and it begins with these words, God is our refuge and strength and ever-present help in times of trouble. We like that psalm, and it's got some great phrases in there. But the psalm was originally a song. In fact, it begins with the words, for the director of music of the sons of Korah, according to Alamot, which we think was the song they were, you know, the music they were tying it to, and then it simply says a song. So they were singing this in church in David's day. But I think there's something wrong with that psalm. Pastor Mike, how can you say that? It's the Word of God. There's something wrong with that psalm. Yeah, there's a verse in there that I think is in the wrong place. Because if you read Psalm 46, it begins with the, God is our refuge and strength and ever-present help in times of trouble. And it goes on to explain some really awful things that may be happening in their world. And then in verse 10, it says, Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted in the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. And that verse may sound somewhat familiar to you. When uh, years ago, there was a song that was called Be Still and No, I won't sing it for you in this video because then you'll never come back for another video. But there was a song and sometimes children still sing that. The idea behind that verse is that after all that's taken place in their world, God was saying to them, I want you to be still. Just be quiet. Just rest in knowing that I'm going to be exalted in the nations and I'm going to be exalted in the earth. No matter what you see in your world, no matter what's in the news, no matter what happened in the past 24 hours, you can still be still and know that I will be exalted. Now, all of that sounds great, but here's my thought. That's kind of reactive. That psalm reads of the, here's all the awful things going on in the world, and you can still be still. I wonder how your world would look different if you read that psalm with the be still verse at the very beginning. Wouldn't it be awesome if God were saying to you, hey, before I even talk about what's going on in your world, I want you to know that you can be still. I want you to know that in a quiet moment, you can recognize that I'm currently being exalted among the nations and I will also be exalted in the nations, present tense and future tense, and I will be exalted in the earth. That's God's way of saying, I want you to be still right now. So here's what that might look like in your life. You get out of bed in the morning, you turn on the news, you pull up your social media feed, you're messing with the kids or you're making that phone call off to somebody who you talked to yesterday and already your anxiety level is starting to go up and then you're reminded to be still because God wants you to have peace. Friends, that's reactive. I wonder what your life would look like if at the very beginning of your day, before you encountered anything else, you could say, I'm gonna be still today because I know that no matter what's going on in this world, God is being exalted among the nations and in the earth. And then, when the kids get up, or when you pull up your social media feed, or you turn on the news, or you make that phone call to the person you spoke to yesterday as well and still things aren't so good, now you can interpret it through the lens of saying, God's gonna be exalted. I get to be still. Because God is still a refuge and strength. God is still in control. I'm gonna interpret my entire day through the lens of knowing that I get to be still. I wonder how your world would look differently today if you began that, began your day with that verse, put that verse all the way at the beginning of the psalm and say, I'm just gonna be still today with no matter what this crazy world throws at me. Friends, I call that proactive peace rather than reactive peace. And that, my friends, can change the way you live. I hope that makes sense to you. It makes a little sense to me these days because we live in a pretty anxious and worrisome world. May you be still and know that God is still God today. And may that change the way that you view this world. Take care and know that we love you and pray for you. God bless. See you soon. Bye-bye.